Hey guys, we're live. Get ready. I'm just, uh, <laughs> I'm ready, but not ready. Christopher's back here trying to get something to eat. Huh? Oh no. Oh, you can see, <laughs> you can see that. <laughs> I can't find no bottle opener, so I'm gonna use this ice cream scooper. Can this work? Can this work? I can't find nothing. Right now, what's with the drawer? They're gonna use the they gonna use the bottle. They're gonna use the, the ice cream scooper too. I'm telling you, this gets the job done. I don't know when it gets get the job done. I don't got no ice cream. All right, anyway, I, I'm I got bottles over. Ah! I was right here for you. I had I had a, uh, I had the ice cream over. It's a close second right here. Here's what they do. This is what this is what they do when you go live on Instagram. People be moving away from the camera, eating. The agenda today. <clears throat> Weezy. Weeds. Bonnets. 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 You know what bonnets are? A bonnet? A bonnet, yeah. You know, why are bonnets uh, the subject that we're Everybody's covering? Everybody's talking about bonnets because. Who talking about bonnets besides you? Social media. Okay. We're talking about bonnets. Mm -hmm. We're talking about women going to the airport, mm -hmm. to the store, okay. wearing bonnets. Okay. Right there. Mm -hmm. All right. Why are they talking about bonnets? Now, what if your girl mm -hmm. wore a bonnet with you to the airport? I call her uh, Matilda from the movie and mm -hmm. keep it moving. <laughs> Would you tell her, like, which, what, why are you wearing that? If that's her style choice, I mean, not really. I mean, what's wrong with a bonnet? And also, why 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 do people want to wear bonnets? Do you want to, let me go check what a bonnet is? I know what a bonnet is, but okay. why do people want to wear bonnets? That's a question. Okay. I don't know. Okay, you tell me what would I do? I am I'm I'm, I'm what do you want me to get into a, me, an extra like me, existential me, question? Personally, I would wear no but bonnet. Why you got the bonnet? I would why I would wear no bonnet outside. Okay. You know, because in public. Okay. Let's look, to me, let's, people are gonna be looking at me crazy, like what's the they already look at you like you're crazy. Mm -hmm. uh, but let's yeah. equate this. Let's equate this to uh, something else. All right, so let's equate it to uh, let's say a man. By the way, I'm eating some catfish. I'm finding this catfish is good. This is good. Okay. Go what ahead. the hell is wrong with you? Uh, anyway, all right. Anyway, all right. Let's uh, let's equate it to uh, a bonnet to uh, let's say a, a man going out with a do rag on. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. In your opinion. You know what? I never thought about that. Mm, I know. Because people are probably not going to say nothing. Exactly. Exactly. Christopher, man, Christopher. We up, man. So why would women do it? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But me, personally, I don't. I would not wear a bonnet. Me, personally, I wouldn't wear a do-rag out in public. Yeah, but... Probably I, not even really say anything to yeah. you. I, I mean, I'd be like, you know, I would, I would be judging them if I see somebody out with a do rag on. All right, all right, all right. Let's put it this way: if you out with a do rag and you got like a, a like a wave cap or like a liner over it or a hat or something, then I'm like, all right, but I, can, I don't think you can do that with a bonnet. But 
isn't a bonnet kind of like a fast like a fashion uh, accessory? No, I just thought people wear it like when they go to bed or take a shower. I didn't know a bonnet. Yeah. Are you talking about a bonnet or a shower cap? Okay, I'm gonna go show you. Go go get your dad. I'm gonna I'm show you what. I don't even think you know what a bonnet keep, is. Keep, keep talking to the people. I'm sorry, y'all. Sound like girl don't know what no damn bond it is. It's upsetting. Uh, anyway, but I'm, I'm hoping y'all agree with me. I guess it'll it'll like be equivalent to or it'd be equal to uh, a man going out in a wave cap or something or a do rag. Um, a bonnet. If we think what a bonnet is, what a bonnet is, girl's a damn shower cap. No, well, this is what it looks like, though. This is what, you know. Pull it out. You know what you look like? You look like Sway from Sway in the Morning. Okay. So, you know, what are you, am I going to That's a shower cap. Am I going to go to? That's a shower cap. Well, I don't know. This is what That's not called no bonnet. That's a shower cap. Well, it looks like this. Would you wear that in the shower? In the shower, but not. It, I ain't gonna go oh, like Hold on, would you, would you would you wear that in the shower though? Yeah, in the shower. So that, 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 that's a shower cap. Protect your head, right? Protect your hair. But I'm not gonna walk like this. A shower cap. Uh, in, in, in the uh. You know, people, airport. but people been doing that for a long time though, right? Huh? Been wearing uh these uh out and about because they don't want to show their hair. You know, they've been doing that for a long time. Really? They were doing that in the nineties. See? But you see the other one though. You see the bonnet. But the was wearing those. Yeah. People were wearing the other ones too. Yeah, exactly. That looked like uh, Madeline from the Disney show. You talk, you talk about house. You talk about house in the prairie. Yeah, that's a bonnet. <laughs> okay. These hood bonnets. Well, There's a different. This is this originally was a shower cap, though. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. I'm sorry, guys. I'm breaking out. Nobody asked you anything yeah, about I'm that. Scratching because my face itch. Okay, you gotta stop scratching. You can't do that. All right. Obviously, you haven't listened to the doctor's order, and that's a that's another issue altogether. All right. Um, we need to get you some some uh some anti itch cream, and that'd be our next step. All right. <clears throat> But that's okay. All right. Uh, but tell me that this isn't a shower cap originally. You can call it a bonnet or whatever you want to now. But this was a shower cap to start off with. Okay, well, this is what people are wearing outside. Yeah. You know, this ain't house in the prairie. Uh, no, that's that'd be house. That'd be house in Slauson if that was it. That'd be house off Slauson. Oh, you talking yeah. about? Yeah. You talking about? What you talking about? That, yeah, that'd be house off. Wilshire. Anybody from Prince Charles? You see, you, you yeah. talk about. No, it's because that, that the house on the prairie, no, no, with, uh, with, it was one black person in that show, and th 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 there that, was not one single black person. There was. In the prairie. There was an episode with the black person. Well, what's his name from uh, Different Strokes? No, he, he probably was on there only one time. Yeah, he's probably on there for like. Okay, thank you. Thank but you. he was on there. Thank you. All right, he was on there. You acting like you're right. He was on there. So back in the day, yeah, back in the little prairie days, the western days, whatever you call that, yeah. that, uh, yeah, they was wearing those little things on their head. But that was like a fashion statement. I don't know what this, you think it's just a fashion statement? All right, okay, let's look at it this way, though. Back in the day, let's say, you you remember the Scarlet Letter? Oh, you know really The book? Movie? Demi Moore? Hmm, I didn't see that movie. All right, anyway. Scarlet Letter, okay, during that time, I guess you can call it Puritan times. Chris about to get historical on him. Puritan times, the women had to wear those because they were, it was a, a religious uniform. They would have to wear those, and then the men would have to wear their hats. So that takes it back to that. It was a sign of uniformity. Um, and um, and I guess that's, you know, that's why they wore the bonnets back then. And now, um, you know, you just wear it as a fashion sense. It's a, it's a shower cap. And women have been wearing shower caps out and about for a long time. That's okay. You was raised, you, you was raised in Compton, right? Okay. See people? See people? Yeah. 
See what he, he see what he's trying to say? Yeah. He's trying to say, you know, Compton is the hood, and you will see this in Compton. Okay. All right. That's what that's what he seemed like he's trying to say. Well, we, we no, I mean, we, I was. That's where raised, I saw that. I was raised in Compton until like ten years old. But I'm not gonna. I ain't gonna wear this out. In, what's that gonna do? Well, can I say something right now? Can I, can I? Can I? Can I say something right now to to to, to call you out on your uh on your your little rant? Okay, go ahead. <laughs> it's popular now, but that's where it started. Ain't we the culture? Ain't black people the culture? Ain't that what they always copying? And now everybody wearing them. Okay, excuse me. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Other races wearing this outfit. I've seen all. I've seen all types of ethnicities wear that. Okay, next time you see somebody take a picture to me, I'm not gonna be taking pictures for factual evidence nobody, to provide my argument. No, nobody's gonna know because I haven't seen it. So viewers have you. You know it is illegal to record somebody without they uh said no. Okay. It's not like you're gonna a picture it. counts you're too. Gonna take a picture and then you're gonna show proof to me because. Uh-huh. All right, other. whoever whoever got one of these and wearing them out, I need an alpha David. I need you to sign because I need to take a photo. All right, because obviously I need factual proof to prove this. Piece. So somebody did take a picture of somebody at an airport. Okay. Um, the lady looked like she's wearing underwears, but maybe they were shorts. And then um, how was this? How was this necessary to our argument? Because. <laughs> Because I guess Monique, the uh, comedian, maybe she got the picture from social media and she posted it, and people was like, "Why are you shaming this yeah. this female?" You know. So I don't understand why it's such an issue. With I wouldn't this. take a picture of a person and then post it. You know. Oh, but place. you want me to do it? No, I. You're not gonna post it on the internet. You're gonna just send me the pic so oh, you can hypocritical. <laughs> so you can. <laughs> So you can show proof to me, okay? I just want you to know this is all live. They they heard it. Yeah. This is the source. Yeah. All right. Well, okay. Look back. Yeah, we're gonna get some. Can you go? Can you go? All right. No, 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 no. You don't gotta do that. I'm gonna go get up. I'm, don't don't trip. Don't trip. Let's finish the argument. All right. Okay. It is wrong that a woman is shamed for this. When a man could go outside in a do rag, I don't see anything wrong with having that on your head. I believe it's stylistically. I love the the the, uh, the design. Now that these are more designed, because people used to just wear these to be black, just like um, uh, just like a, a basic do rag. But now you see people with designer do rags. This is a con- uh, designer uh, a designer uh, shower cap or a designer uh, bonnet. I believe it's okay to go out in this. I think this is actually fashionable. Um, I mean, long as you ain't you know, you ain't hurting nobody. I mean, what? Women can wear caps. Men can wear baseball caps. Women can wear baseball caps. What's wrong with wearing a bonnet? Now, will you make or a shower point? cap. Well, you make a good point about yeah. men wearing yeah. do yeah. because I'm thinking mm-hmm. if I would say anything yeah. to a, yeah. a man. I see, I see white people in do-rags all the time. I, you know, I just wouldn't wear it in public because, mm-hmm. you know, I don't want people just staring at me and looking at me like, what's that fit? You know, just like they have designer do rags, like by Nike, you got them by Adidas. You can get them from different other uh, sources. You can have a, a fashion a bonnet or a fashion shower cap if you like. Hey, I like to shower in fashion. I like to take showers with my my, my little shower cap uh, in fashion. They they got wave caps. Hey, people wear bandanas all the time. Yeah. What's wrong with that? Yeah. But, um, but, yeah. So that's the topic. I don't see no issue. I don't see an issue. Um, this is a shower cap. Fine. So, um, you know, say, what about if somebody, let's talk about gifts. Okay. Like, uh, someone, you you in a relationship, somebody yes. gives you a gift. Yes. And then they take it back. Yes. Or they ask for it back. Yes. Now, would you ask for a gift back? Uh, you know, like the sweetie and oh, okay. you know, but that was a big gift. Yeah, yeah. You no, know, which well, I guess it was in his name. That's why he was able to take it back. Right? Uh, yeah, right. uh, yeah, sure, sure. So, but um, you know, would you take a gift back if you, you know, I don't even know if I can say this because, you know, they used to say this um, 
phrase back in the day. I don't even know if I can say it. Phrase? Oh, I get it. I get what you're about to say. Yeah, we, we, we might, you, you remember that phrase? Yeah, I know what you're going to say. But I'm like, I don't know why they used to say that phrase, yeah. though. Yeah, and I don't know why they said when America took everything from them. How would yeah. they? How would <laughs> they? So now I'm like, how people they? used to say that's what we grew up. Yeah, you know, yeah, so we used yeah. to say, you know, I'm like, man, now that I'm means, trying to think about it. Like, why would they even say something? Yeah, like that? to actually to bring it for the people that know the phrase that we're referring to, it's uh, actually if we if we discuss it now, it's actually a very racist phrase yeah. because everything was taken away from uh, that. Uh, 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 or, well, we can go ahead and say it. Uh, yeah, the native, yeah. the Native yeah. American yeah. people, and how how would that phrase even make sense? Um, I mean, shoot, do we know yeah. the true story of Mount Rushmore? I mean, let's. Uh, gosh. Um, but you yeah. know, I, if you give me a gift, yeah, I ain't giving it back. Yeah. Um, if it's like a car or something, though, that it's in my name and I'm making payments, though. I yeah, mean, I have, ain't that still mine? Yeah, I don't have a choice. I don't have to be that bad. Yeah. You know. Um, but like other gifts, I'm not giving. Yeah, them. unless we agree to you taking over the payments from here on, then you know you can keep the card. But if I'm making the payments on it still, no, that's that's technically mine. If anything, and we broke up, you're stealing. Now, that's actually robbery. Well, what about if I just say, hey, let me take over the notes? Okay. Before? Okay, that's a different story. That's a bit. Bu- that's a business arrangement. Before we talking about robbery. <laughs> We talking about Grand Theft Auto taking it. All right, you talking about something well, different? Well, because I guess you're gonna have to repossess it. Yeah, because that's that's technically still mine. You know, like if I gave if I gave uh, if I gave somebody a wedding ring, and we decide that we're not gonna get married no more, and we're gonna part ways, but it's in my we we uh, we uh, are pay- making payments on it. Did you say we? Yeah. Oh, okay, oh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We making payments. I mean, if you. Engaged, yeah, you make payments, not for a female. Uh, what if she is the only one with good credit? <laughs> All right, <laughs> what if she is the one with the good credit? Okay, it takes a team. Okay, <laughs> wait a minute. All right, don't get it twisted. Hold on, we're gonna put this in her name. Um, no, um, but let's say if we did get a man and I am making the payments, right? That ring is technically mine. And if you run off with it and we decide to get broken up, then isn't that technically mine? I mean, well, yeah. engagement ring, if I'm not paying for it, the guy is paying yeah. for it or he mm-hmm. paid for it and he runs it back, then hey. Now that's something right. that I'll give back. Okay, right, you know? right. Um, okay. But you know what? I hope, wait a minute, hopefully I'm not going to be trifling and try to uh, get some money for the ring. Yeah, and then you get you some know. money and then you find out it was fake. You know, this man, it's a tough world out here, man. It's a well, tough world out here. Well, you know, yeah. So uh, then I'll be glad that yeah. we're not together. Yeah, you get on that you, show. You use a got me a fake ring. Yeah, they put that little diamond tester on it. You be like, oh, oh, no. Hey, yeah, they'd be a wrap for you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you're over there so, stealing, and you, you, you're the only person, the only person that got took with you. Or who? Everybody. Yeah. At the end of the day. You give me a gift, I ain't giving it back. It's, it's mine. Once it once it land in my hand, yeah. I have possession of that. I guess that's and, and, yeah. and I, I <laughs> But I am going to say if it's in somebody else's name, that is that. So you, you just know that there are legal repercussions that come with all of that. But then somebody's like, possession is nine-tenths of the law. Is it though? Is it? Uh, yeah, I could say, um, you know, if you broke up with me, yeah. you say, you know, if you take me to court, I'm yeah. just so traumatized yeah. by the breakup. Yeah. You know, starting having panic attacks and stuff from this. Yeah. And, you know, maybe the judge will say, oh, you can keep it. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> let's let's think. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what's. Yeah, I don't know what's happening. I just oh, make I, it. Yeah. I don't. I don't know where you went there. I did not follow. Um, <laughs> but let's just say I use an analogy that makes sense to everybody. All right, let's say Plankton steals the Krabby Patty formula, right? Excuse me? Oh, oh I forgot. <laughs> um, um, hmm. Okay, say that again. Repeat that, please. Never mind. You know what? I was going to go with a SpongeBob reference, but you know what? Uh, I forgot. I forgot. Never mind. Yeah. Well, whoop! 
Um, well, yeah. Hey, what about this? Is another topic. What if you're you took your girlfriend out to mm-hmm. dinner? Mm-hmm. She brings a friend. Yeah. Okay. So you know the bill comes. Yes. Now, are you gonna pay? Will you pay your your girlfriend's friend bill? Mm-hmm. I'll probably think about it. <laughs> well, you, you know, what if she just like um she's expecting you to pay? Uh she expected wrong. Because <laughs> <laughs> I do know somebody yeah. who I had a friend and um he took his girl out and brought the girl, his girlfriend brought her her friend. Mm-hmm. And when the bill came, um yeah, he, he didn't pay for it. He, yeah, he, he, he he's like, no, I'm paying for my girls. Yeah. I ain't paying for your meal. Yeah, I tell her that I, I did but not I, invite you here. <laughs> yeah, true that. You coming here was not part of my plan. Okay, I brought enough money for the said individuals, not you. But I think I would tell, you know, if you had like money, then I would tell, you know, my boyfriend, oh, yeah, you're, you're going to pay. You're going to pay for her, you know, too. Just like they say <laughs> in the song. <laughs> You want, if you need something, I got five on it. Okay. All right. That's what I got for you. I got five on it. That's it. All right. I'm sorry. I can't help you. All right. I'm not the one. I'm number two, three, four, five today. Okay. I'm not the one. I'm not here to help you. Okay. (laughs) Number two today. Sorry. Now, uh, Christopher, you got vaccinated. Yes. Okay. So um, I guess allegedly you're supposed to have like a special protein in your body now that I'm supposed to stay away from you because I am haven't been vaccinated. So when you talk, and you invited me over and here, you talk is actually and you invited me over here. It's actually going into my mouth and actually I'm actually. I just want everybody me. to know she invited me here. And so I guess maybe I'm supposed to turn into a zombie too. You she invited know. she invited me over here. Zombie, I said, zombie. hey, I was like, hey, big sis, you know, I'm kind of sleepy. And she was just like, no, we got it in. And now she over here talking about proteins. <laughs> but hey, I guess I'm supposed to, I'm probably in here with you. Yeah. Because I don't know what you know. this, you know what this basically does? I saw this YouTube channel. She ain't got no accountability for her actions. I inhaled this. I inhaled it. Girl, you inhaled all this oxygen. You're safe through, I believe, through her immunity. I got these special proteins now. Oh, wait, yeah, you did just basically describe herd immunity. Good job. You learned a lot today. Good job. Look at you go. I've been hearing like all kinds of crazy stuff. Have you? Yeah. Yeah, just yeah. It's supposed to be like, yeah, you know, if you you got shot at, you can put like a magnet and it it a stick to you. <laughs> Too bad I don't have a magnet and then I could like test you out. So people so dumb. You know your body has <laughs> ele- there's electricity in your body that causes yeah. magnets. <laughs> Y'all so dumb! You know if you you start up somebody's heart with electricity, right? You know that means you a zombie. Hey, if your head warm sometimes, that's that vaccine shit. Hey, hey, if your body twitch when you sleep, you a zombie. Yeah, right. <laughs> hey, if you cough sometimes and around the hours of uh, 12 and 3, you a zombie. <laughs> oh, man, speaking of zombies, have you seen that? You're on your own. I ain't seen that. I can't even support your argument. I got oh, one more right. to say. Well, when you get time. What? Have you seen Twilight? Yeah, the new one? Yeah, ain't no zombies in there, just a bunch of vampires. My fault. <laughs> Oh, have you seen um, Army of the Dead? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, now that's good. That's but good. Watch Black Summer. I mean, these are some fast zombies. When they turn, they... 
You got <laughs> Zack Snyder's Army of the Dead. It's not like The Walking Dead, boy. You know, those zombies. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's not like that. Like, it's not like that. Yeah, sure. <laughs> of course. Yeah, that's that's a good uh, that's a great depiction of of, of those guys. Oh, I man. agree. Army of the Dead is hard though. I, I watched Black Summer. I thought Army of the Dead was just crazy because you had the like the you just dope because you had those different types, and I thought it was hard. Yeah, I was gonna be yeah. Good. I thought it was hard, and that was it's really gonna be a part good. two, right? Yeah, oh yeah, it's yeah, gotta, gotta be. Gotta be it's gotta be. Shout out to my boy Amari Hardwick. Yeah, I thought, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, good movie, good movie. I enjoyed that film quite a bit. Ah, uh, this Friday, The Purge, Forever Purge is coming out. Yeah, I like The Purge. Um, yeah, you said you, like, say, you like just look way too into that <laughs> right now. I am just like I'm into The Purge. <laughs> huh, where are we gonna get this started? <laughs> No consequences. Oh, oh, I just want to purge. How are you right now? Jesus. I can't stand the purge movie. The first one was good, though. I did enjoy the purge. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good movie. Yeah, it was a pretty good movie. Pretty good film. Yeah, so. Yeah, it's just funny about the fascination. Is it? You know, we just saw these theories. And yeah, stuff. that's what. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, that's what we know for theories, 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 theories and conspiracy. conspiracies. There's always a conspiracy theory. Yeah. Conspiracy theory. Uh, why to why ten o'clock at night the the fifteen freeway was was down and you could get no cell reception on it at all. Oh really? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Oh my goodness. Well, thank you for watching our live video. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Somebody's going to hit stop at some point. Yeah. We just got to reach for it. We don't know yet. We haven't decided. Um, Please. Please. Do stuff. Please, Christopher, do something. Okay, because we're just sitting here. Uh, you, uh, you already. <laughs> <laughs> You already on the computer. <laughs> oh man. 